Hey YouTube, it's Fixed with Biscuit here, and uh, we got the old uh, CTC 3D printer, and it has been being a POS. Not really a POS, but the thing is, um, I was printing one night, and it was a pretty long print or whatever, and somebody in our town had ran their car into a telephone pole, knocked out the power, and it surged and burned up one of the parts on my 3D printer. Oh great, you know, right. So I figured what it was doing was it was not, uh, this side wouldn't heat up on the uh, extruder, wouldn't heat at all. It kept saying, uh, well, we'll sh I'll show you what it says. Let's see. If you guys can read this. All right. There's the old normal startup, and then all of a sudden it'll bump and say, um, there it is. Heater error, my temperature readers are fa failing, please check my connections. Okay, I checked the connections and everything, uh, well actually I had to figure out first what the heck that meant. First off, what that means is there are... These little guys here, the round little white looking guys there, those are your heaters inside the, uh, the extruder. Okay, and then there's this, let's see if we can focus. Okay, there's this wire right here that uh, looks like a ground wire. What that is, that's a temperature sensor. And um, it took me forever to figure this out because nobody's got any videos on what the heck what is so this is the temperature reader and so what I did was I switched them on here and you can't just switch them without switching the bottom of the uh, machine so uh, I'll show you where on the CTC 3 you know the 3d printer here where it is because um, I had to figure all this out at first I switched the um, heating elements and that didn't make a difference. So did the old process of elimination. So let's flip her on her side there and you have to take off, uh, let's see, sorry. You have to take off this cover and this cover sits right here. Uh, come on, all right. This cover sits right here, you take it off, and then, yeah, it gives you the motherboard and everything. So I followed all the wires down through the loom that comes through here, and it goes right to this green box right here. As you can see, it's a pain in the butt to get to. So what I did was I changed the right extruder for the left, and it works now and the left one doesn't work no more. I don't use the left one because on these CTC 3D printers, I bought this one. Oh, dual extruder, so cool. I can print, you know, um, with either one. No, not the case. The case is with the software that it comes with, and it's very limited, um, this uh, printer uses the right extruder as the main extruder. It prints with that extruder all the time, and you can use the left one to print a raft or a um, support. Uh, that's all I've been able to get it to do. I cannot get it to print, be a main print head at all. So um, I guess there's other software you can download and use it, I, th I'm, I believe, but I haven't been able to get any other software to work with this thing other than what it came comes with and that's makerware that's uh, the only thing I can get this thing to work with I would love to use slicer or simple fly 3d or no that's not a I don't know there's a few other printer uh, programs I would love to use that are just that you could do so much more and make so much better prints but anyways that's not what this video is about um, so I switched it and now it heats up and everything works. And um, so now you just put the darn thing back together and hope when you start to print again that it works. 
uh, Bingo Bango, and Bob's your uncle, and Almost pushed her on the floor. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see that that's what the bottom looks like. And uh, you got to take out this screw here, or well, I don't take it all the way out. I just loosen it um, and move, pull it out. And then there's one screw right here that's got a nut. I take that one out and leave it out. But, um, so now you can see that it's all back together and everything and I'm gonna do some printing but uh, here's just a little video of what that error is about the uh, temperature readers like I said it is oh, come on focus focus there we go it is these guys here the uh, with this uh, bolt um, yes, and that's your temperature reader. This one on the left is bad now. I need to change it all the way out. But for the most part, I've just been using the left extruder and all that as parts. Uh, I, I, for a first time 3D printer, I would say, yeah, it's great. You know, it's great for the, um, if you don't want to spend a lot of money and you want to print some things, it prints actually really well. I mean, I've seen other uh, printers like the MakerBot and stuff like that. This thing prints almost as good. And that's like a $2,300 printer. This thing here, I bought it for $400. I think you can actually get it for less than that now. Um... So yeah, it's it's been a real good printer. I've got my money's worth out of it. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned.